This is James Holder for IFL TV. I'm in the XL Arena today for the Match from Christmas Show season beatings. With me, I've got Kevin Mitchell. What's happening, Kev? Sat you good day. I'm all right, I'm all right. First and foremost, congratulations on the great win. Kazim El Uzari, I hope I pronounced that right. Yeah. Tough game, tough game, lad? Yeah, tough kid. You know, he um, took some good shots. I knew once I started getting to him, though, he was um, only going to weaken and weaken, and it just took his shoulder shots, and I took him out. Ruthless finish from yourself. Can you talk me through that? Yeah, you know, you've got to be ruthless. You know, once it starts and you get him on the ball, you know, as I said to the lads, then you can't be like hitting him with two good shots, watching him over and hope the open referee jumps, and you've got to get in there and finish that job off. Get it done, dusted, and get out of there. Good to be back in the ring and fighting in the XL. Yeah, you know, it's good to be back again. You know, I'm back in my local area. Back with all the boys, me and all the lads here have been training for this show together, really. Most of the shows brought with our lads. We've all been training together. Um, it's just been good, you know, I've been great. I've had, was it, three fights in five months. I'm buzzing, I'm working hard, and it's just going great for me. Eddie Earn spoke potentially about a fight against yourself and Tommy Coyle for an IBF eliminator. <laughs> would, that, would that be a fight that interests you? Yeah, most definitely. Tommy Coyle's a good lad. It's, it's a fight that they definitely interests me. It's a fight I'll definitely win. I've got to be on my game plan, my game plan's will be spot on with him. He's a good lad, a nice fella, he's a good, he's a, to be fair, he's a bit like a friend of mine, I know him, I've met him before sparring that, he was a very nice lad, but the, we've got to get in them fighting me. Would you prefer to go that route rather than maybe a rematch with Ricky Burns? Was that, is that you something you think about? Ricky Burns had an injury, he's going to come back his own way in a minute. I'd rather go the IBF route, win the IBF title, and I fancy, really fancy winning it, and then if it works out, unificate, unifying in a big fight with Ricky, it sounds brilliant. That makes perfect sense, Yeah, it, it does, doesn't it? What has been a highlight for 2013? Highlight for me, 2013? Well, I say tonight, really, and it's got to be the, basically the way I've been back in the gym every day, every day work really, while I'm training every day, keeping fit, keeping healthy, eating healthy, keeping in the gym all the time, and basically just working really hard. Now it's time to have a nice two weeks off of Christmas. 29 years old now, focused on your job, living it right. <laughs> yeah. How far do you reckon? Where, could, where can you be by the end of 2014? Kevin? And me and Tony were speaking earlier, like, we're speaking, speaking a lot about things like this, you know. I could either be covered on my life, messing about, drinking down pubs, get up to no good. I'd have been, I'd be 40 years of age going, I could have been, could have been this, could have been that, talking up to a lot of rubbish. But, you know, now I want a few houses to play for, I want some property paid for out of this game, you know, and I want to be able to say, yeah, I was world champion, just like Darren Barker did, you know. Darren, he lifted that crown, he's been a IBF champion in the world, one of the major world titles. Just, when, once you've done that, you can beat your head on the pillow at night when you're 40, 50 years of age and now you've you, you done it. Very, very true. Listen, I'm not going to take up too much time. I know you want to get down and watch your gym, yeah. mate, Lee Purdy. I thank you for giving IFL TV a bit Cheers, of time. Man. Have a good Christmas, you and the family, mate. Merry Christmas, IFL London. Cheers, that's all.